Pardon the mess. Welcome back, guys. Full scale fixes. There's the RC on the bench, but don't mind that. Today, we are going to replace the screws that go into the taillight housing of the Jeep Wrangler JKs. Got some nice stainless steel ones replaced now. Uh, I'm going to give you the size of them so you know this one only had three in it. That side only has one plus one that's stripped out of broken. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. This side is done already. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with cutting the ones because the ones that go into the body on this side are pointed. And then the other ones that go into the plastic housing part have a little flat spot to them. So I'm going to trim that up. But let's go ahead and walk over to the bench and I'll show you the uh, screw sizes you need. So I just went to Lowe's and picked these up. Uh, stainless steel, pan Phillips sheet metal. Eight by one and a half. If you have the shields, the guards on them, you're gonna need longer ones. I think probably like two inches or something, but if you already have them on, you could just measure out your length of the ones you currently have in or just buy a little bit longer ones but the ones I needed were one and a half and the eight ones those are going to be the ones that go into the body these came with five so I got one extra but these I will keep as is and then this other set are ten by one and a half so the only number that changes is the 10 and the 8. Um, and these ones, they only came in the 30 piece I could find, but these two will go into the plastic portion of the light housing. And we're just going to cut off the tips of these with, I'm using a Dremel with just a little cut off wheel. You could, if you need to, get a hacksaw, um, just take longer. But I use that and then I clean up the edges with the file. And I stick into the vise, which I'll show you. And um, let's go check out that other headlight real quick. Probably said headlight, but I meant tail light. So, see, I got one right there. This one was missing when I got it. That was missing. And that one is like stripped out completely. So, might have to drill that out. I'm not sure. But. We'll go ahead and start with these other ones. I know on the other side I had to glue the housing here. I had to glue that and fix it on that side. So hopefully this side's good, but I never was able to pull it apart because this one's just stuck in there and I didn't do anything about it. So let's go ahead and um, get the two body ones first since we're going to have to cut them. And I'll put those in for you guys. Got the screw. I'm going to take out the old one. Then you'll know when it's uh, in there all the way because it'll feel like it's a little wiggly and then once you get it flush it won't move at all. I'm going to go throw one in the bottom here. Um, I know the other side the bottom one wouldn't catch unless it was angled. It went in fine but you might have that problem too. Then we'll uh, address um, cutting the new bolts for these two and then we'll see what we got to do to get that bottom one out. So on the vise, you're going to take one of your, well, two of your 10 by one and a half. You actually need four total, but we're just going to take the tip off. I've been doing them pretty much just this section. I just cut off and leave it like that. So put it in the vise. Make sure it's secure. Grab some safety glasses. Hacksaw or Dremel. 
And just like that, then you take a file, clean up the edges. Nothing crazy. So now you have it kind of like the factory one. So I'm going to do this one real quick and then we'll head over to the tail light and uh, put the one in. And I'll probably just work on the other ones off camera when I'm done. But this whole video is pretty much to show you what part number for screws you need and just that they work. So. Alright guys, so this one is in, I showed you that. The one in the bottom down here, the uh, hole does not line up, so I'm not able to actually get a screw started in there, so I'm just going to have to leave that one out. This whole housing is jacked up anyways. Um, this top portion up here, this one's actually cracked, so that one doesn't really work and screw in, but... I'm going to go drill this uh, bottom one out, and I'll do that off camera. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, end result, and I'll take it back to the uh, driver's side. This housing was in better shape overall. Um, looks dirty, but the screws went in perfectly fine on this side. I know this one was broke and cracked up here. I had to glue uh, that little screw portion of that. I had to glue that a while ago when I threw some silicone behind this to stop water from going through. But I got these uh, screw numbers off a of Jeep form so you know take what it is but they did fit for mine so um, not a big deal. But like I said over here this headlight's way more jacked up so I'm going to drill out this bottom one on my own time and try to get a screw in there so at least I'll have two and then try to pull this one out since it's got nothing to attach to so thank you for watching please subscribe check out the other videos on the playlist for full scale fixes uh, check out the links below and uh, thank you for supporting I'll check you guys out next time